Only a few knew that it was here in this airport hangar in Santa Monica that Michael Jackson came to create. Not music, but art. Lots of it. A lot of people call his work just sketches, but I, I think they're great works of art from a, one of the world's most talented uh, men. Jackson had been painting and sketching since he was a young boy. His longtime friend and mentor, Brett Livingstone Strong, gave us this first-hand look at some of Jackson's artwork. He did these drawings of uh, the Wright brothers. He loved them. Jackson, who was self-taught, had favorite themes. He wanted this for his own gate, you know, in his the like every theater, yeah. Keys, chairs, gates, and the number seven appear in many of his works. Seven had special meaning for Jackson. He was the seventh child in his family. Over the decades, he started expressing his feelings about his love of life and the things that he loved in, in, in life. Strong says Jackson often retreated to his artwork during some of the most difficult times of his life. His work wasn't published and it wasn't exhibited, but it didn't stop him from being an artist. He kept, kept working on it. Strong also tells us Jackson's plan was to sell reproductions of his artwork to help children's charities. Jackson also wanted to sell limited editions to build a Michael Jackson monument designed in part by Jackson himself for fans to visit and even get married under. It wasn't meant to be a monument where, whereby he thought he was going to be honored after his life. The monument is still in the works as well as securing a spot to place it. All this artwork, over 150 pieces, will eventually be displayed. That is, of course, when the time is right. In Santa Monica, I'm Juan Fernandez, KCAL 9 News.